Hello, I'm Dustin Wunderlich, Communications Director for the University of Washington College of Education, and I'm here today with researchers Deb Morrison and Gina Tesorero. And uh, first off, Gina, could you share a little bit about what you're presenting here at AERA? Yeah. We're here to um, present about the ACCESS project that we work on, which stands for Advancing Coherent and Equitable Systems of Science Education. It's a research practice partnership with different state leaders um, across the country, and we're working on designing professional learning opportunities for teachers around equitable formative assessments in their classroom. Great. And what are a couple key things uh, that you've learned um, about uh, co-design uh, uh, during your work? So one of the things that we've learned is the co-design process needs to be very um, flexible to make sure that the researchers and practitioners are able to um, help each other in a way that it's not just one group translating practices to another group, but instead it's like a, more of a synergenic um, merging and expanding of the two practices. Yeah. Yeah, it's really important that we focus on how we work with our partners instead of research moving into practice. We actually have research and practice almost as uh, iterative process back and forth. Um, and so that project is really centered around that as we expand into other areas beyond even formative assessment about how um, youth and students um, make sense of different ways of making sense of the world and support teachers in that work. Great. And what are maybe a, a couple insights uh, that you have for uh, how your work could inform professional learning for teachers more broadly? Yeah, one of the things we're definitely finding from our work is that the contextualization of teacher education is critical to being able to ensure that we have equity and justice-centered teacher education. And so working with partners in different states as we sort of drill down into the practice in local levels um, and thinking about how all the different informal or sort of community-based and school-based collaborators can work together to kind of develop those experiences together and how to bring teachers and students outside, to bring outside inside, all of those components. Yeah. Another thing that's been really important is making sure that all the participants in the collaborative design process have a say in how the process is happening. So we definitely um, ask for feedback often throughout the process and have really shifted our practices based on um, the needs of all the people that are involved. Mm -hmm. Researchers have learned a great deal in this, in this experience. <laughs> And finally, where can uh, people learn a little bit more about some of these uh, PD resources uh, that you've been developing? So they're all available on the STEM Teaching Tools website, so under the PD tab of stemteachingtools.org. And, and we, you can also access them actually from the Council of State Science Supervisors page on their access page. Fantastic. Thank you both very much for your time today. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.